They are harsh on you. They treat you as if you did something wrong. What is wrong with that? If you believe that Christ is our God and he is present, why don't you kneel? Why don't you crawl? Why not show? Show respect. I grant that a diocese has the right to give instruction so that the congregation moves in the same way. When to stand or sit or kneel, the documents from Rome do not go to too much detail, allowing dioceses some freedom. When the diocese regiments too much, it becomes material for us to talk with the bishop privately. And our language would be, why do you regiment the people of God? Are the soldiers? Allow them some freedom. For example, when people have received Holy Communion, they return to their seats. There is no, reg no law from Rome whether they should kneel down or sit down or stand up. But in some dioceses, they are rigid. They say, if you receive communion, you come back to your seat, you must stand. And when the last person has received, everybody must sit. Are they soldiers? Where is freedom? Why not let the people of God who have received Jesus, somebody likes to kneel, another person wants to keep standing, another one wants to sit. It's all right. But don't fight now. Don't go home and say, now, Cardinal Arinza has told us to fight you people. That's not good. The Holy Eucharist is not the area for fight. But uh, you would like to know that even though receiving Holy Communion, the bishops' conferences of each country are given the right to decide whether they will receive standing or kneeling, or whether they will receive in the hand or on the tongue. But even if the bishops decide that the people will receive in the hand standing, as in the United States, our congregation in Rome has said, yes, provided that those who want to receive kneeling, you leave them full freedom. And those, those who want to receive on the tongue, you leave them in peace and not in pieces. 